Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me Chris Agnelli. In this Logic Pro 10 one, uh, we're going to take a look at the arpeggiator and trying to get it to generate some really cool, quick uh, hi-hat patterns. Something I can spend way too long trying to program is hi-hats and groove and sometimes, in fact most of the time, don't get it right. So I was thinking the other day, this could be a really great uh, tool played about with it and it turned out to be a really fantastic tool to get quick cool hi-hat patterns going so what do we do we open up a hi-hat uh, and this one here i've got an es1 let's i'll show you where it is let's take these off es1 it's a hi-hat i always kind of use it's kind of a a very electronic -y, gritty hi-hat it's in the legacy content and if we go down to electronic percussion hi-hat close smooth uh, I know Swedish House Ma Mafia and stuff have used this hat so we can sit and hit keys and try and get percussion in or draw in notes but let's take a look at arpeggiator and I'm just hitting one note and immediately we've got a really great hi-hat pattern going so let's play that with a kick so it's very mechanical, very straight. Let's play two notes. So the first note I played was slightly lower velocity than the second. So let's send that to the grid so we can edit. So we can start to play with the velocities. And we can add in other notes. We can turn that down. start to play about with the uh, different velocities then we can go to options guys and we can start to mess with the swing we can compress the velocity between the the low velocity here and the high one so we can just change the velocity grid or we can shorten the note lengths add a bit of swing so very quickly we can really edit And then we can pull this pattern by just dragging this and dropping it. Switching off the arpeggiator and looping this guy up. And it has uh, imported all the velocities for us. But this sounds uh, not key track, so it means it, the, the low note and the high note are the same pitch. So let's experiment with uh, other hi-hats. So let's open up uh, EX20, EXS24. And I have a kit from our SQL sample pack on the site. I built uh, some kits on this hi-hat. So we've got, you know, 20 different hi-hats mapped across the keyboard here. So I'm going to play about with that with an arpeggiator so switch on the arpeggiator and let's play randomly some notes you know instantly we've got some really interesting rhythms going latch so that keeps playing let's solo it because we can change the order of the notes we can go up and down up and down we can go up then down or we can randomize it and again we can go in change the swing get the note length let's have a listen to that And again, we can drop, once we've got the pattern we want, we drop it in, switch it off, and loop. And we can go in and uh, 
And you can see the, the slight swing we've got going on there, just the slight delay in the ticks. Uh, there we go. Within, I don't know, three, four minutes, we've got some really good, fast-paced uh, hi-hats going. Uh, I will be using this in every track in the future because I think it's just, it solves so many problems in my life. So I uh, hope you got something useful from that and see you in the next one. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.